Hey guys, before the video starts, just a quick reminder that there is a presently an Amazon gift card giveaway going on in the channel. If you haven't done it already, you have to subscribe to this channel, you have to like this video, you gotta follow me on Instagram, and then you have to go down below in the comments with the hashtag Amazon giveaway to, give the, to get the chance to win a $50 gift card. So I will be announcing the winner on the live stream on Saturday the 22nd of December at around 6 p.m. So be sure not to miss that because I'm sure some of you would love to know if you were lucky and you won this giveaway. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll let you watch the video. All right, guys. Hey, guys, and welcome back to Automotive Stories. Now, today we're going to have a, a different type of video, and actually, this is going to be the start of a new series that I will call something like... 10, top 10 cars I would love to own in real life, but I can only drive in Forza. Now, Forza is a reputable racing game with, uh, you know, pretty realistic driving experience for what the game offers. And since I don't have access to all these cars in real life, I said to myself, well, why not just play them in the game? Maybe it's not the most objective and subjective. Those are contradictory. But anyways, you get my point of, of a car review, but it's better than not doing it at all. And, you know, it's a fun way to do it because, you know, I'm going to do tests in these cars that I couldn't really do in real life. And, of course, I'm still going to be making real life car reviews and videos. But from time to time, these will appear as a additional car review uh idea now i know that this is very unusual for a real car automotive channel but you know i'm trying to open my horizon i said weekly vlogs reviews and more so more can be you know uh, car modifications and i think that playing a video game about cars is still related to cars and is going in the more category so with that being said, we're going to start off. So I'm going to have 10 cars, so 10 videos like this. And basically what we're going to do is we are going to buy the car from the store of the game. We're going to take a look at it and I'm going to give you the specs. And then we're going to go for free roam drive, drag race the car against similar type cars. And then we're going to give, I'm going to give you my final impressions. But with that said, let's get on with the video and on with the first car. All right, so now we're gonna go buy the car. So we go to the auto show of the game. So the first car that I will be buying in this game will be, drum roll please, the number one car, uh, the number 10 car on my list, which some people will be like, what, why? Ah, that's, uh, that's the way I am. So here we go. The Infinity Q50 Eau Rouge red water so it's a basically a high sport trim and what I like about this car if you look at the specs on the left 400, 560 horsepower 442 pound feet of torque 3800 pounds a 3.8 liter twin turbo v6 and for so those who don't know this is the same engine as the Nissan GTR yes that's right they put the same engine as the Nissan GTR in an Infiniti four-door sedan. And uh, why did they do that? Well, Infiniti is Nissan, so, and they wanted to do a high-performance model, and why not use the engine from an already high-performance car? But with that said, uh, let's, uh, let's buy this car. So as I said, I'm going to leave these cars stock. And yeah, so we're going to buy, like if I were going to the dealer and buying, whoops, what happened? I'm going to leave the stock. I'm going to buy it with the only colors that are available. So this time is red. Like if I were buying it off the showroom floor of the dealer. I mean, look at that big exhaust. The wheels look cool with the carbon fiber roof and everything. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to buy it. So in this guy, it's 100,000 credits. I don't know how much that would be in currency. I'm sure, I maybe did a calculation on, and you'll see it on the screen. But uh, whatever, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, so now that we have the car, we can take a look at it. So there we go. So we can turn on the lights. Let's pop the hood like if I were. So there it is, the glorious twin turbo six-cylinder engine, 560 horsepower. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you know, four doors and everything. So this is what I like about this game. I can look inside and everything. So, you know, the details are still pretty good. Got the trunk. Uh, 
wow big trunk we got the other back door and the driver door so let's just hop in like if i were getting in for the first time and then let's start it up and see how it sounds sound in forza the interior looks pretty good the dual screen setup like in real life i did a review actually in real life of this car but you know a less performance model a very more basic type of car but uh, yeah this is very accurate from to real life and uh, yeah so uh, let's go check out the specifications of this car so uh, it's very simple. All I have to do is go to my garage, upgrades, and go to the tuning section. So as you see, the performance is indicated on the uh, left. So zero to 60 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds, which is <laughs> pretty good. Uh, zero to 100 miles in 8.6 seconds. This car has a 211, I'll round it up, an hour top speed. It breaks in 136 feet and it has lateral G's of 0 0.91 G's. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, let's go out for the drive and, uh, yeah, see how this beautiful car actually performs in the free roam situation. I'm going to try to drive in real... So, you know, this is uh, pretty good so far. It's really fast. It's uh, really fast, actually. Well, 3.8 seconds isn't slow. I know I'm driving like a maniac. Oh, okay, I would not do that in real life. For a Raptor with a pink... What the hell is that? That's uh, ugly. So, my first impressions on this car are pretty good. And I, st I pick it for a reason. I love Infinis. I actually, I really like the way this car looks. And, you know, it's a cool sedan. And sedans are dying. We all know that. SUVs are the king of the road these last few days. So, yeah. And I, I forgot to mention this, but the free mode, the free road mode, uh, the free mode, the free roam, sorry, drive is actually going to involve a challenge that a car like this should normally be able to do. So this is a sedan, so it's maybe more of a uh, driving situation, but let's just say the list had an off-roading vehicle and so on. It would be an off-roading challenge or something like that. So yeah, just letting you guys know. So yeah, okay. So, uh, so far so good. I think we're gonna go to the um, drag race portion of this uh, video yeah so let's uh, let's go see how fast it is and how it compares to other highly powered sports sedans so uh, let's go do this all right so we are about to drag race all of these cars against what's supposed to be the same lineup of cars so let's uh, let's see how this car does so we got a julia there anyways let's see oh, i missed a shift oh that porsche so let's see how this is going. Okay, so we're beating out the Volvo. I think I lost because of my shift, but I'll, it's okay. So we're gonna see the results here. So third place. So I did it in 17 seconds. Remember, this is not a true quarter mile. Uh, but uh, so you know the, the the top three cars are actually neck and neck. You know. I don't know if I should do it, but you see the class rating. So the higher the number is, the higher the car is spected as a performer. So as you see, my car is at 783, and the winner, the 789 Porsche Panamera, and the 782 Audi RS6 Avant of 2015. So, you know, these cars are pretty much evenly matched. So, you know, I'm very satisfied with the results. I mean, Yes, it's third place, but I mean, it's in some really good company, actually. So, there you go, winner. I made a grand on that. Perfect. All right. So, what are my final impressions on this car? 
Well, let me tell you. All right. I'm just going to change the mode. This car is actually one of my favorites. It's a look. I mean, the car looks really good. And I mean, it looks great. And it's fast. It's a sedan and sedans are dying and it's a special edition car. All right. So, you know, I'm going to tell you that this is a really excellent vehicle. And I know this is just a game. And I know that this is just a ridiculous overview, but still, I do see this car as a great real life car of owning a, a real great perform uh, ownership. If ever I did own this car, I mean, it's super fast. I mean, really fast. It has the GTR's engine, but you have the you know the practicality of a four door sedan with the performance. Of a supercar basically because we all know the gtr is a supercar and it honestly looks way better than what this the way the gtr looks like but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you watching the video as always take care please leave a like a comment uh subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next video all right take care guys <laughs>